What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we are doing episodes 15 and 16 of season one. First one is called End of Term Time. The second one is Schools Out First Term, which I have noticed and I think it's kind of hilarious. I didn't notice it until now. Maybe I talked about it like last episode, but the first term, second term, when it came to episodes, I was like, what does that mean? It just means kind of part one, part two. Like I love two part episodes, but I love how they kind of have it school themed and classroom themed great choice the, the aesthetics in the show a lot of the creative decisions i'm thoroughly enjoying but with that being said very excited to continue this the emotional funniness the character development some actual depth i'm very looking forward to more character development like from terasaka Ev nagisa everyone else hopefully you guys are excited as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for early access full length uncut up to four episodes one week ahead let's hop right on into this assassination classroom episode 15 end of term time let's do it tell us kuno da, kuno don don't talk why is he talking like it's elmo but he's talking about horrible things and we know in terms of the rivalry koro sensei's mission especially because we failed midterms is to get us all in the top 50 for the finals to prove gakuho asano wrong damn 10 percent is quite large well that's a good incentive for the students to do well i like that give them the ultimate advantage for finally being able to beat you Right, 10 billion yen. That's what I'm saying. That's some great motivation. Shouts out Koro. It most definitely does not. Yeah, you act like you don't do everything in your power to hold them there. Mm -hmm. Way to keep a politically correct answer. But Karasuma knows. Mm -hmm. Okuda is going to be the top score in chemistry. Science. Oh, yeah. She's going to be, she's going to ace that. Karma could low-key ace his own subject as well. Shindo. Do I have his name down? Oh, the baseball boy. Yeah. What's up, dude? I didn't think we'd ever see Shindo again, but he's a reoccurring character. Shouts out him. Oh, my lord. So... <laughs> it's funny, because I know this show likes to play on tropes and things and satire of other animes and just anime genres in general but it's so funny i literally just got done rewatching mob psycho and so it's so funny going from like dragon ball z to the ginyu force you know to mob psycho the ultimate five there's always a squad of always the five <laughs> it's so funny how they even the class a has the known as the five geniuses but hey what's up my name's darius nice to meet you i am terasaka of the five geniuses like it's like, it's so funny to me media club president they have like an announcer too. Come on. Not the memorization monster. What is this? Present Mike? What is My Hero Academia? Not the LA language. I'm so glad you're asking. That's Shindo. I'm so butter. <laughs> so who is this guy? Coming I mean, first in the national mock exams. Light Yagami? This guy kind of looks like Karma. With leadership in his genes. Student Council President. Genetic General Student Council President. Gakushu Asano. He's Asano's son. Of course. And of course, he's an only child. Full undivided attention. So this is uh, giving me some classroom of the elite vibes right now. I'm going against the grain, going against the hard challenge, you know. And all of these are people we've seen before, right? Like that was the kid with uh, Terasaka. One of them was Nagisa's old friend, right? Maybe. I'm curious. I honestly would take it as somewhat of a compliment that they're taking us this seriously and trying their absolute hardest, you know? Look at all the squad, though. They look ready. Jesus. Oh, 
Well, I guess shouts out to Shindo for the funny ass announcements in the call for the information. Shouts out to him. あなたの語彙行通り、英組の成績の底上げに着手しました。これでご満足でしょうか。英組は他を上回ってはならない。なぜそこまでこだわるのかわかりません。役者と強者の立場は時に簡単に逆転する。That is very true when it comes to life. With the guillotine in the background, revolutions and shit. ボクの力でその条件クリアさせましょう。they have such an interesting relationship. You can tell the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Because this... First off, very athletic. Both of them can absolutely tell. But second off, he doesn't know anything about Koro. It makes sense. I was not expecting him to be like an antagonist of his own accord. I was so sure that the son would be on his dad's side, but no, he seems to be curious into his own agenda. A well endowed co ed, Jesus. Like I said, the apple does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> Friendly banter. <laughs> And they're the head-to-head -head in their category, right? He's the biology class student. She's Okuda, chemist girl, you know? I know biology and chemistry are different subjects of science, but you know what I'm trying to say. Jesus, that is so unbelievably creepy. Absolutely does. So they're all like top 25 of their, of their category, you know, of their subject. In one subject, anyway. What, what kind of bet are we having? It's always vague when the bet is always something like that. Anything they want. I always hate those kind of bets. Yeah, once you say that, then it's a different ball game. Your life's on the line. Look at that. It's completely different. I love how... Oh, I love how that's changed up. I know. Like, you guys might be kind of smart. You guys might have resources and tools at your disposal that we might not have. But if this ever were to turn into a fight to the death, you guys would lose in a heartbeat. Like, not even funny. Make it seem like they're in a corner, like they have to do good, or otherwise he's gonna have you hold something over, you know? Clarify the rules, like what? It's gonna be a contractual agreement he just came up with. It literally is. This fucking guy, I hate him. 50 clauses, pledging subordination. What? Like, that's just a loophole. The bet is we give to... Winner gets to give the loser one command. Oh, the one command is to sign this contract that has 50 commands on it. I love how they show. That's like that's like Satan behind him, right? Like that's what that imagery is supposed to be. The fucking centipedes in the background. They just go ahead and give him some dark imagery. True. So they're making the questions extra difficult. These are no longer mere exam problems. What are these fucking... Why do they have to visualize like this? Conundrums. You know it's bad if it's not a question anymore. It's a conundrum. Like if I'm ever in real life saying, Wait, this is a conundrum. You know I got no fucking clue of the answer. That makes way more sense. Well, I'm, I do like how there's a personal motivation and agenda for him as well, you know? I'm glad he said the same exact thing I said, but, like, they're giving me huge Sith vibes. Like, Asano's number one goal is to get his son ready enough to surpass him and beat him, you know? 
Oh, no, those were not Gisa's old friends, I'm pretty sure. The other guy was not. I'm an idiot. Oh, oh I was like, oh, those are just furry little things. She shoved two pencils up his nose. That could fucking stab your brain. Is that Oro Ritsu? Ritsu's Brock. Mm. Shouts out Karasuma, shouts out Ritsu. I swear, I think Karasuma's gonna be like top three favorite character by the end of the show. I really thought we were gonna make the top 50 for the midterms, and so I was like shocked when we didn't. So I'm a little nervous for this. I hope we do, but we still have a whole season two, you know? This is almost like war, combat, Colosseum, gladiator, you know? Against the physical manifestation of these conundrums. Another fight bell rings. <laughs> it actually looks pretty fucking dope. That was the end of the episode. I thought we were going to see the results. It is first term, so this is part one. God damn it. All right, on to episode 16. And this one is called Schools Out. I've never... I've never thought about it like that. Okay. Because I've always had my fair share of issues with our American, I say American specifically, because I've never gone to school outside the uh, US, but our American school curriculum and the education system, I have a, a fair share of issues with it. But uh, one thing I've always said is testing only like really tests your knowledge, like currently, like actively of this information. Like I think a true test is how well you can retain it over an extended period of time. But I guess from what he's saying, I've never thought about it from that perspective. Like it's not truthfully the test that's important. It's your ability under the same circumstances, under whatever harsh conditions that may be, to absorb information, uh, to be able to retain it, excel, comp thrive among, you know, it's like, it's the experience, like he's saying, which is interesting to think about. Because I always give credit to like, I have my issues with college as well and other things like that, but if you're able to complete college, graduate, your work ethic is already well above, <laughs> well above others, so. I love the way they're animating this and visualizing the manifestation of us fighting the finals, you know? Look at this, like we're all gladiators in the same arena. If you want to know the truth, I felt like slapping the cook's face. What, what Was that the English question? Meanwhile, ooh, knowing exactly where to hit. Mr. Top Scholar, lighten up a little, okay. Catch from the Rye of the Great Gatsby, yeah. You know what, in terms of overseas and foreign literature, yeah, Koro would probably know a lot. <laughs> I'm really loving how they visualize us taking finals and how we're handling each individual subject and how they're different, you know? So versus <laughs> memorization, Okuda has a personal passion and interest and and the language skills, right? That was taught from Koro, the helper. Okay. Shouts out to Koro. <laughs> he was like, I. So they went to Africa? <laughs> Shouts out to Koro taking my boy to Africa. Ooh, Kanzaki. I'm guessing this is the poet tree or the 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 literature. The grant I don't know. You guys know. Which should be quite interesting. Quite a showing. He's got every weapon at his disposal. Like, imagine having an episode where it's just like this. I love the whole gladiator coliseum representation. Ooh, see, look at that transition. He's coming out with a, they're coming out with goddamn machine guns and shit. God, I hate standardized or I hate school testing. Like, oh, I hated it so much. Sitting in a certain spot still for like three hours at a time. Ugh. I'd always do pretty well, but I always hated it so much. Okay, here we go. Results time. 
Dan first in the grade. Let's go, Rio. Swaggy girl. Mm. Sixth in year three. That's really good. <laughs> to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, Mark. Oh, so that's what it was. It was Japanese versus their English class. Mm, so we got first in E class, but first in the grade. It's 1-1, one, one, E and A. Second year three. Shouts out Kanzaki. Damn. First in the grade. Please be Isogai. Let's go. Isogai got that as well. I mean, that, that study on African knowledge. Come on. Let's go. 3 1. Let's go. Shouts out Okuda. If I had faith in anyone, it'd be her for science. And that was karma, right? 100 in math. First in year three. So they we beat them in the individual subjects. They beat us in the overall scores. Makes sense. Literally, that's a perfect impression of him. You literally thought that, Karma. <laughs> the first time he's felt like embarrassed her. Come on. Or a whelp. Who can't even... I, the whole neck thing is so creepy, but so fucking fits with their relationship and their... I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. God damn. Ooh, that's a bar right there. An assassin who forgets to sharpen their knife. Ooh, is no assassin at all. He needed it. It was a little much, but he needed it. Yeah, he's like a Neji, you know. Neji need everyone needs like Neji or the genius level needs a humbling every now and then to remind them they got to work a little bit, you know. I like how it's the duality of both of them. Him and Asan Asano are both feeling the frustration and can reach new heights, you know. That's crazy. Like the actual life lessons in the show are really good. Taking the good sides of the of the wins and remember the bad sides of the losses and you'll be a better man. That that wasn't the end of the episode. No, I was only halfway through. Thank the Lord. I was about to say. <laughs> oh Mac. Oh Mac. Just shouts out to the cooks. Come on. Bro. You know how hard it is to cook out there? Come on. Wait, they're counting because four of them tied for the highest in home that they count four? I thought it was one extra tentacle. Right? I would be gloating. I'd be rubbing it in their faces. Did we forget about a bet you guys placed? <laughs> True. I, I took many years of home ec, you know. It was called culinary arts, and then I had, uh, what was this? It was like an advanced version, gourmet foods, and finding a loophole, right? True. <laughs> I understand why Mr. Karasuma would say that. <laughs> Don't just say, not Koro calling her a bitch too, Jesus. You're a bitch. Damn. Bro, I didn't even notice that. Shouts out to all of N-Class. Shouts out Karasuma. That's awesome. That their confidence was shining. I love that. I love that. I don't like that. Some bullshit's gonna happen while they're on. Okay, that's Koro's book. As long as it's a Koro guide, I love it. Ever since the last Koro guide, I'm like, hell yeah. It'll teach. It'll tell you. 
literally everything you need to know in the whole world. Yeah, the, a campus is what it's looking like, right? It's a privilege normally reserved for the class with the best grades. Oh, it's not the campus? That's a little much to ask for. I can't. I'm an idiot. Ooh, I just cracked my jaw. That hurt super bad. I don't know if you heard that, but an Okinawa resort? That seems super dope. Oh, I would love to go there. The only right the one that has to be that has the right to be frustrated is him. So we're not going to be doing our assassination attempt here, but seven tentacles at the Okinawa Resort. So I'm assuming that's going to be the next couple episodes. Oh, yeah, it's an island. He has really nowhere to go. Water. We have the advantage with the seven tentacles. Quite crazy. My jaw fucking hurts. <laughs> the coral smiley face. Saying, you guys have done an excellent job. All right, the first term is over. We finished finals. We're going on a break. Talk about a goddamn session. Hell yeah. Talk about some fun episodes. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm loving, I loved the visuals and how they represent so many things. I love Koro's teaching style, the kids' interests, the stories on, on their subjects and stuff. I love the big five, the genius five, you know? And so for our bet, we won um, what would normally be given to the rights of the top class, which is just the domestic vacation, you know, to that island resort in Okinawa, which is sick. Shouts out to the squad that won him. We have Ryo, Okuda, and then Iso guy all got top, you know, in the grade. And then we had uh, Terasaka on the rest for home ec. That was just hilarious. But Karma and Asano son, Asano Jr. is almost start calling him because Gakushu is just a little crazy. Asano Jr. and Karma both got a humbling, which they both well needed, especially because of the latent talent and abilities they have. I'm very excited to see their potential. Very excited for more studying Koro, especially with this trip, us taking advantage of our uh, assassination attempt. Like it's going to be a fun, fun time full of wholesomeness full of hilarious like there was some funny ass moments it's not even funny it's crazy how funny the show is to me but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe check out that patreon early access uncuts up to four episodes one week ahead oh, don't forget to drink some water i was like where am i going with this <laughs> tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out